another video. Um, I'm here in this beautiful bit of woodland, uh, which is just off a footpath that I often walk the dog down, and uh, it's just carpeted in bluebells at the moment, so I'm being very careful not to tramp on them too much. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous it is. So, in this video I would like to show you um, something that one of my viewers has asked, asked me to, um, to do a little uh, talk about really. And that is my possibles pouch, my kind of like EDC pouch, if you like. It goes with, with me everywhere, no matter what I'm doing. And it contains all the bits and bobs that I might need, that are small items that I just don't want rattling around in the bottom of my, my rucksack. Um, and uh, it just sort of keeps them all contained. So that's the first part of the video. The second part is to actually look at the pouch that they're in, which is a new thing, um, which I received in the post this week. Um, and uh, yeah, well, I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later on. So, this is everything I carry. Um, and really they're just, you know, like I said, bits and pieces that, that I, I might need to get to um, quickly and I just want them to all, all be in one place. My med kit is also in here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just start, I haven't got anything actually in the outside pockets, incidentally. Everything's just contained inside because um, it just makes it easier for getting in and out of my, my pack, my side pa uh, pouch on my pack. So let's, let's take a look and see what we've got. So from the left, I've got toilet tissue. I can't go anywhere without toilet tissue and um, hand gel, alcohol hand gel, which you can also use, um, it's flammable, so you can also use it as a, um, as a fuel for a stove. Um, but that's mainly just to sanitize my hands. Um, I carry a small open L stainless steel knife. Oops, if you unlock it. Uh, just a small knife. Um, obviously, I'll have my main knife with me anyway, but that's just in case. Um, I have a small sewing kit, um, and this is in a, a little container that you you often buy drill bits in, um, made by by this uh, brand Dorma, and they come in this handy little plastic tube, which is perfect for keeping your needles. I've got needles, um, a bit of wire, and some safety pins in there, um, just uh, for on the go repairs and the thread is just wrapped around the, the case on the outside keeps it all together and um, I don't have to worry about losing anything or the needles poking into anything else and the bottom of the pouch in the bottom of the pouch I have my uh, my my tinder kit my fire kit okay on the other side I have a head torch I have another torch here um, which is a lot more powerful um, this one obviously just for for seeing what I'm doing around camp, around the fire or whatever. This one, if I want to actually shine it and light something up in the, in the distance in the woods or whatever, I've got a more powerful light there as well. I have my, uh, my bellows. If you've seen my, um, my video on the steak and bannock breakfast, you'll, see me, you'll, you'll, you'll have seen me use that. Um, it just means that you can get air into the center of a fire if you need to get a fire going or, or, or relight a fire in the morning just from embers. That's a perfect tool for that. I've got a little bit of fat wood, um, just, uh, you know, if the, if the birch bark ain't working, a few, a few shavings of fat wood usually, usually gets the fire going nicely. I've got a, a DC4 sharpening stone, um, which I use for my knife and for my axe. And that's what sits in the front there. And then in the, in the part behind, in the po a pocket behind, I have a load of cordage. So I have two hanks of paracord and this sort of thinner I don't know whether I don't know whether this is bank line or what but it's like a thinner cord um, but good stuff strong um, I also have my water purification kit so in here I have a Milbank bag uh, it was actually not Milbank but it's it's a it's a Bilmo version of it it's the same same principle basically um, it's just a, a, a primary filtration bag it takes the sediment out of the water you then need to boil it still um, and that's usually what I do I'll boil water um, when I can um, but I also carry some some purification tablets as well. If I'm really suspect about the water, then I'll use those as well. Um, often, you know, I'm canoeing um, and I'll need to use water out of the river. Um, but you know, as I'm sure you, as I'm sure you're aware, um, the other the other creatures that like to live along riversides are rats. 
um, they like the banks um, and obviously uh, with rats you have um, you have a nasty disease called Viles disease um, which can make you very very unwell indeed um, and uh, and I always like to err on the side of caution and use purification tablets so I'm using river water um, also in that pocket there I have some snare wire um, this is unopened I've never used it but uh, it always seems like I should carry some just in case um, so I've got some snare wire in there although I've never never really um, never really used it so back to the left hand side of my pouch um, it also has another compartment behind with a with a zip closure on it and that's where I keep all my med stuff um, I don't carry huge amounts but um, you know I carry enough just to see me out of a muddle um, I have tablets which I need to take I have um, I, well I was about a, a year or two ago I was diagnosed with a with a heart condition so I have to have tablets with me at all times I don't take them all the time but I have to take them if if and as and when I need them you know but um, that's a story for another time so I've got my my medication I've got some more purification tablets I've got a mirror um, which obviously you can use for signaling but it's it's main mainly just if I get something in my eye as I seem to always seem to get stuff in my eyes um, you know I can at least look in there and try and hook it out um, and I have one of these Victorinox card things which um, is a brilliant bit of kit it's got uh, a little blade in there it's got um, tweezers which are probably the most frequently used thing in here there are my tweezers there I think you know for getting out splinters or whatever it's got a small pair of scissors various bits and pieces really useful bit to have in your first aid kit I have a, a dressing the first aid dressing I have a foil blanket. I have um, some other dressings here, uh, like a absorbent wound dressing. I have um, tick twister things for removing ticks, mainly for the dog actually, more than, more than for me. Um, I have some um, medicated wipes, cleaning wipes. I have some dressings, just uh, low adhesive dressings. And I have some plasters or band-aids. So there you have it. That's uh, the contents of my possibles pouch. It's by no means a comprehensive um, list of stuff to carry, but it's just what I tend to carry. Um, you know, sometimes I'll add other pieces, other bits and pieces to it, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I won't take certain things. Okay, so the other thing I really like about this pack, this uh, this pouch rather, is that it fits perfectly in the side pocket of my LK35, and it's just there. Um, and it contains everything I need, and um, it's perfect, I think. Perfect, perfectly sized for this pack. Okay, so the, the pouch itself, um, like I say, it's, uh, it's new to me. I only arrived this week, and I bought it off... Um, a fellow bushcrafter who's who's on a forum that I that I'm part of, the Great British Bushcrafting Group, um, and uh, yeah, he, he was he was selling this, and um, and I bought it off him, not really knowing very much about the brand or anything, but I'm really pleased with it. I, th I think it's really well made. Um, it's made by a company called Barabal, um, which is a Polish tactical tailors, um, made in Poland. There you go, made from Cordura, and I would guess this is probably about a thousand D uh, Cordura. Um, really well made, really heavy duty. Um, on the outside, you've got a you've got a pouch here, a mesh pouch. You've got a couple of elasticated tabs for putting bits and bobs in. You've got a Velcro tab, um, which is uh, kind of like a sleeve in itself, so you can put things through the back. It also has tabs here, which I've put uh, shock cord through, um, so you could attach something else onto the front there. Uh, on the back. We have loads and loads of molly here, so you can attach it to whatever you want. Um, and you have a handle on the top made from um, a woven woven paracord okay, with a couple of D-clips. There's two zips, or, or it's a double-sided a, a double zip rather, so that it opens up clam style, um, so you can get to everything inside. And, um, and you've got loads of storage in here. You've got one big mesh pocket at the back with uh, elasticated... Um, elasticated uh, straps on the front there for holding holding bits and pieces in place so it doesn't all fall out when you open it. Um, you've got the 
uh, zippered mesh compartment here, which is where I keep my med kit as I showed you, and two more elasticated loops for holding gear on. Um, and yeah, I think there's you know there's there's plenty of storage options. It's actually marketed as um, a med a med pouch, as a first aid kit. This one, um, but uh, you know it's obviously quite quite large. You could have a very comprehensive first aid kit in there, or you could do what I've done, which is just to keep pretty much all your bits and bobs in there. Um, now the company Barabel, um, I did a little research and I went onto their website. They're Polish based, like I say. Um, but you can order from them direct. Um, this pouch comes out at um, 119 zloty, Polish zloty, which in pounds works out to about 24 pounds um, using yesterday's exchange rate. So it's not too badly priced. It's certainly certainly cheaper than um, than another very well-known brand which is out there that are, uh, is very popular. Um, and and I think it's I think it's brilliant. I think it's really well made. The zip is also incidentally one of those. Uh, highly water resistant zips um, and uh, yeah great great bit of kit you know I have, I have nothing to do with this brand um, uh, you know I, I literally bought this on, on a whim but um, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to buy more gear from them based on the build quality of this I'm really impressed and the fact that it fits in my side pocket is just a complete bonus good bit of kit Okay, well, thanks, thanks for watching again. Um, I hope it's been been of some sort of use to you this video. Um, you know, I, I, I like I like getting new bits of kit. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a gear sort of um, obsessive, really, um, just to try different things out. And I'm and I'm really pleased with this uh, with this with this pouch. Um, and I, I can see this getting loads and loads of use. Just wanted to share that bit of kit with you, really, and and, and show you what I carry. Um, so um, yeah, ho hopefully that might have been of some use to somebody. Um, but uh, yeah, I um, I'd uh, really appreciate any comments as always, you know. And um, feel free to feel free to like, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers.